test your newfound knowledge. Congratulations on completing the Fundamentals of Quantum Computing for Beginners video course. You have taken an essential step in gaining a comprehensive understanding of this cutting-edge field. To test your knowledge and reinforce your learning, we have created a series of questions that cover the key concepts and topics covered in the course. Take a moment to reflect on what you have learned, and see how well you can apply your newfound knowledge. This quiz will give you a good idea of the areas you need to focus on in order to fully grasp the concepts of quantum computing. So, let's get started and see how much you have retained from the video course. Part 1 Questions What is quantum computing? Answer. Quantum computing is a type of computing that uses quantum mechanical phenomena, such as superposition and entanglement, to perform operations on data. What is the difference between classical and quantum computing? Answer. Quantum computing is a type of computing that uses quantum mechanical phenomena, such as superposition and entanglement, to perform operations on data. Can you explain quantum bits, qubits? Answer. Qubits are the quantum equivalent of classical bits. Unlike classical bits, qubits can represent 0, 1, or both at the same time, which allows quantum computers to perform certain types of operations much more quickly than classical computers. What is the significance of quantum computing? Answer. Quantum computing has the potential to solve problems that are infeasible for classical computers, making it an important area of research and development. Part 2 and 3 questions. What is Grover's algorithm? Answer. Grover's algorithm is a quantum algorithm that provides a quadratic speedup over classical algorithms for unstructured search problems. Can you explain quantum error correction? Answer. Quantum error correction is a technique used to protect quantum information from errors that may occur during quantum computations. This is achieved by encoding the quantum information into multiple qubits so that errors can be detected and corrected. What is the significance of Shor's algorithm?
Answer. Shor's algorithm is a quantum algorithm that can be used to efficiently factorize large numbers, a problem that is believed to be infeasible for classical computers. Can you discuss the applications of quantum computing in cryptography, chemistry, and finance? Answers. Quantum computing has the potential to be applied to a range of problems in cryptography, chemistry, and finance, including optimization problems and the simulation of quantum systems. Part 3 and 4 Questions Can you explain the difference between gate-based and adiabatic quantum computing? Answer. Gate-based quantum computing uses quantum gates to perform quantum operations, while adiabatic quantum computing uses the evolution of the system over time to perform quantum computations. What is quantum supremacy? Answer. Quantum supremacy refers to the point where a quantum computer can perform a computation that is infeasible for any classical computer. Can you discuss the current state of the quantum computing industry and future predictions? Answer. The quantum computing industry has made significant advancements in recent years and is characterized by a growing interest in quantum computing applications and the development of new hardware technologies. The future of the industry is expected to see continued growth and development, with increasing investment, research, and commercial interest. Can you discuss the ethical and societal implications of quantum computing? Answer. The development of quantum computing technologies has the potential to bring about significant advances, but it also raises important ethical and societal questions, including the impact on security and privacy, the potential for bias, job displacement, accessibility, and regulation. Thank you for watching Introduction to Quantum Computing for Beginners.